that pill is non-hormonal. When a man swallows that pill, it just inhibits a protein that is very essential for sperm production. So in the event, when the man is swallowing the pill, the sperms don't form or they don't mature. Researchers are working around the clock to develop a male birth control pill. However, what do Africans think about this game-changing innovation? We hit the streets of Nairobi, Accra, Johannesburg and Cairo to find out more about their perspectives. I say we are not supposed to embrace it at all. Marfoud. No, I refuse. The woman is the one who takes care of these things and can control it, but not the man. He can't. I cannot tell my husband to take the pill. No way. Even if I tell him to do this, then I'm showing disrespect to him and no need for that. If men want to do it, they're more than welcome to. But I personally am in, I'm in charge of my own birth control. I'm on birth control, FYI. But I feel like for me, I don't mind taking the pill. I'll do it on time. I'll make sure that it's done. It is my body after all. This is the first time I'm hearing about this idea. It's surprising. And I think all men, including myself, we reject this pill because we are used to the fact that women are the ones who should take the pill. She feels when she can or cannot get pregnant. 90% of Egyptians will reject it. I'm sure of this. My view on the new contraceptive pills for men, I support it because I think it would end a lot of problems that we see in relationships right now as well as unplanned babies and also because the issue of termination or abortion is not clear and men don't have a say within, in that. So if a man does not want a child, she cannot tell the woman to have an abortion. It has to be a decision that comes from the woman. So if the man can prevent on his own, if he does, if does, if doesn't want children, then that's good. So you don't have to go into a lot of complications with an unplanned baby. So. That's my view. Past male birth control pills failed. Clinical trials halted due to unacceptable side effects, including mood swings, acne, and libido changes. New non-hormonal pill shows promise. No significant hormonal side effects reported. Study results well tolerated in a small group of healthy young men with no serious side effects at tested doses. Next steps further research needed to confirm contraceptive effectiveness. Anthony Muramba, a father of three, is not waiting for the pill. He had a vasectomy in 2021. He says he wanted to share the burden with his wife. Uh, my wife had to keep using the, the pill and I didn't want a fourth child. <laughs> so uh, it was more or less a personal decision I made because I could see the changes that she used to go through and also the fact that it will mess up her menses and all that. So I opted, let me take the snip and uh, yeah, it's been now three years. The first uh, male birth control was vasectomy, almost 100 years now. And then much later, uh, condoms came in, yeah. So you know men, they only have to, it's not like the ladies who have quite a number. Ladies have like 15 types of methods. And then in 1974, there's a Chinese professor called Professor Li, who discovered the, the nose couple. <clears throat> That's what we practice here. So we have specialized instruments, uh, which we use. So it, it, it makes it quite safe. And it's just a walk-in, walk-out. Eh? So due to cultural beliefs, men are shying away from even talking about family planning. Some of them are not even supporting their wives to have the same conversation. This is something that uh, we are discouraging as healthcare providers. As the world awaits the outcomes of these studies, it is clear that cultural, religious, and gender biases are going to influence the uptake of this pill amongst men.